Hey, this is Leo and this is Ableset 2. Ableset is a plugin for life that allows you to manage and control your set lists from any device on stage. To show you how this works, I've created a demo set with 12 songs here in Ableton Live. Each song is marked with a start marker and you have a stop marker at the end of each song. I've also added a track with sections, I've added some backing tracks and I've added a click track. Ableset lives in the menu bar. You can see this little icon here and if I click on it and then on open Ableset, you'll see that the app has automatically used the locators and the section clips to create a set list for you. Now I can uh, open the tracks here so I can see the sections and now I can just jump between songs and sections and start playback from here, for example. Ableset also uses these stop markers to automatically stop playback. So let's say I was at the end of a song here. Then Ableset will automatically stop playback. And if I just want to uh, go to the next song, I'll just press space or click the play icon. And this will start the next song. If I don't want playback to stop, I can rename the marker to song end. And now if the song end is reached, Ableset automatically jumps to the next song and continues playback. One of the most powerful features of Ableset is the ability to edit your set list without having to go into your arrangement view and moving stuff around. You can just go into the edit mode and now you can freely drag songs around. You can say, yeah, maybe I don't want to play this and this song. Um, maybe I want to play this song here first. And you can also see that in addition to the number of songs, Ableset displays the total duration of your set list. So if you know that you can be on stage for half an hour, for example, you can take out songs until you're within this limit. Now I can give the set list a name as well. Let's just call it demo and I can save it. And there you go. Now you have a custom set list. If you want to customize things further, you can add notes and colors to songs, for example. Let me just jump to road. I can add a color, so for example, indigo, which is a color I like, that uh, adds the color here. Or I can add some notes in squirrely brackets. I'll just literally write some notes and you'll see them here as well. And the same is possible for sections as well. So for example, I could make the intro blue. Ableset also allows you to automatically loop certain sections and you can do that by adding the plus loop keyword at the end of the section, which I've done here. So uh, if I start playback here, you'll see that Ableset now automatically places a loop bracket around this section. So it just loops um, until you turn off the loop. You can also see this loop bracket here in the timeline. And if I click the loop button, it turns off and uh, continues into the next section. In addition to the setlist view, Ableset also has a performance view. And to show you this, I'll just maximize the window and then click on performance here. And this gives you an easy to read overview over the current state of your set. So you'll see the current BPM, uh, the time signature, the length of the song, you'll see the current section, the next section, you'll see the next song as well and how many songs are left. And you can also easily control playback from here. You might have noticed that Ableset runs in the browser and this means that you can use it from any device that you want as long as it's on the same network as your playback machine. You don't need an internet connection for this, but if you, for example, want to use Ableset on your phone or on your tablet, you can do that by just going to the same address um, as this one or uh, you can also see it in the pop-up window here. Now, if you prefer to control Ableset using your MIDI controller instead of a tablet or a phone, you can do that as well. Ableset comes with a Max for Live device that you can just drop into your set and you can use that to control playback as well. And uh, of course you can map these buttons to incoming MIDI nodes. In addition to all of this, Ableset allows you to control multiple computers at the same time, which is very helpful if you have a redundant setup with multiple playback machines. You can learn more about this in the video linked in the description. Now, these are all features that are already available in Ableset 1. And now I'd like to talk about the new features in Ableset 2, starting with lyrics. Adding lyrics to your set is as simple as creating a new MIDI track, giving it a name and adding the plus lyrics flag. You can now create one MIDI clip per line and just rename it to whatever you want the line to say. 
So I've created uh, lyrics for one song here. And now if I go over to the lyrics view and press play, you'll see that Ableset displays a synchronized view for your lyrics. You can also add chords using the Chord Pro format, as you see in the second lyric track. And Ableset allows you to choose which of the lyrics tracks you want to see. So uh, in this case, I want to see the chords track. And there you go. Lyrics can also be customized. So for example, I can make one line here blue if I wanted, or uh, I could center the entire lyrics track. And uh, if you want to learn more about this, I will link the documentation in the description. The next feature is support for guide tracks. And this one is uh, one that you will likely have in your own set as well. Um, that just announces the next section and counts it in. So for example, in front of the first verse, we have this. Verse two, three, four. By adding the plus guide flag to a track, Ableset knows that this is a guide track. Now, if you go into a loop, for example, you'll see that Ableset mutes this track because it knows that um, the next section is not gonna be the intro, but instead, life will jump back to the beginning of this current section. Instead, it activates the loop guide which is just another audio track that you can put something else on. So in my case, uh, I've put a hold onto it. So when we play through this the first time with the loop enabled, hold, two, three, four. it uses the second track and if we turn it off, Intro, two, three, four. it uses the normal uh, guide track. The next feature I'd like to show you is the customizable performance view. And to do that, I'll just maximize the window, um, exit out of the lyrics view, and then go into the performance view. And this feature allows you to customize your performance view exactly to your needs. This is a per device setting, so you can uh, have multiple tablets or devices on stage with multiple configurations for the performance view. So in my case, as a singer, for example, I could say, I don't really need to know what the next section is, I don't need the tempo information, and I don't need the time signature, but I would like to have lyrics along with the performance information. So now I have a custom performance view just with the information that I need. Next up, we have support for multi-file projects. This is especially helpful if you have a repertoire of, let's say, 100 songs or 200 songs maybe, and you don't want to have all of your songs in the same file in Ableton, because this can get quite large and uh, might take a while to load, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a hassle to work with. So what you can do in Ableset is uh, you go to the settings menu and then go to multi-file project, choose a project folder, I have one set up here with um, just five songs in my case, but uh, when I open this up, now Ableset interprets each of the project's files as its own song, and I can just um, switch between them. And you see that Ableset just loads the song file into Ableton Live. You can still use all of the other features of Ableset as well, so you can create sections, you can create loops, you can uh, use lyrics and the guide tracks and all of that. The next new feature is the integration of Play Audio 12 interfaces. So if you're using one of those to run a redundant playback setup, you can now access them from within Ableset. To show you how this works, let me quickly connect one. You can now see that Ableset um, adds a little status indicator. If you click on it, you can see that my Computer 1 is connected, that's the one that I just connected it to. Computer 2 is not connected because I just have one computer here at the moment. But this allows you to just quickly see the status of your Play Audio 12 and also to switch between the two computers or uh, scenes as they call it. You also get a little overview over all of your audio channels and these will light up when you start playback. The same view is available in the performance view. So uh, here you just have it as a green dot as well. Next up we have more jump modes. And uh, to show you this, I'll just use a song that uses locators for sections because that makes it a bit easier. So normally when you jump between sections, it does so in a quantized manner. So uh, let's say I'm currently in the verse. But you might not always want to have this behavior. 
So what you can now do is you can go to the settings menu, you can go to the jump mode menu, and now you can switch between quantized, end of section, end of song, and manual. So what end of section does is it just gives you a bit more time to decide which section you want to jump to. So for example, um, let's just play the chorus here. And I can already jump to the outro because I know that's the section that I want to have played next. And uh, now Ableset automatically jumps there after the chorus section has ended. The next one is end of song. And for this to work, I'll just uh, jump close to the ending of a song. I'll press play and uh, queue up another song. And you see that I can just queue up any song that I want. I have some time uh, until playback stops here. And now after the song has ended, Ableset jumps here. If you don't use a stop marker, but a song end marker instead, let me just do that here. Then playback will continue to play uh, instead of stopping and jumping to the song. And last we have the manual jump mode. If you use that, Ableset will never automatically jump to the song or section that you have queued, but it will only jump when you stop playback. So um, to show you this, I'll just uh, start playback for some song here. Now I can jump to any song. I have uh, all the time in the world to choose the next song. And as soon as I hit pause, Ableset jumps to the queued song and I can press play and start that song. The last new feature I want to show you is OSC support. This allows you to integrate Ableset with other apps that also support OSC. And you can use it to build your own control surfaces using Touch OSC, for example. And that's what I've done here to uh, show you this as a demo. Um, so in Touch OSC, I've just created a simple controller that allows you to jump to a specific section by its number. So I can just jump to the first section, I can jump to the second, the third, and so on. And I can also um, play and pause. Now this is just a very simple demo, but uh, I will link the documentation for this in the description so you can check out all of the available commands. And that's all for this video. Ableset 2 comes with a lot of other smaller improvements that I didn't have time to go over in this video, but if you want to learn more, feel free to click the link in the description. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments below, and I wish you a great day.